Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to uh, work on how you mix or blend your Artline Sticks markers. And these are great markers for beginners. Um, the links will all be below as well. But you can use any kind of plastic or an acrylic block, that's what I'm using. You put down the darker color and then you, with the lighter color, you pick up the darker color and you start to letter. So you can kind of see, and this is real time video, of me going over my sketch and the saying is going to be, I have an attitude for gratitude. And I'm mixing a darker pink color with a lighter blue color. And you can do the same um, method with your Crayolas, your tombo, Tombos, um, brush pens. A water-based marker will kind of give you, any water-based marker will give you the same effect that you're looking for. And I like to emphasize my downstroke, so I am going through and on every downstroke that I do, I'm making them thicker with um, the marker, just because I like the look of the really thick downstrokes. And the next step here is I'm just reversing so you can see the difference in colors. On, um, I'm gonna lay the blue down on the acrylic block. And like I said, you could use plastic, you could use glass. This is just um, one of my stamping blocks. It's just easy for me to put on my table and clean. Um, you could use a Ziploc bag. So I put the blue down first and then I'm using my purple magenta color to pick up some of the blue um, before I do the lettering. So you can kind of see some of the blending of that. I don't always sketch out my pieces first, but I think it's really useful if you're just starting out, lay it down with um, pencil lightly, and then that way you have a guide so that you don't, I, I always make spelling errors <laughs> when I'm lettering. So it just kind of helps to help you focus on what you're what you're doing when you're lettering. And I'm using a Stabilo 0.88 um, fine tip marker just to do this last little bit of lettering. And I'm also going to use this marker to tie it in on the shadow. And I'll let you kind of see how I do that. And I do have a video for um, how to do some shadow techniques. But I think I'm going to redo that and go even a little bit more expansion of that. Um, because I'm starting a tutorial series on my blog. So if you haven't checked out my website, go to my blog. I do have some different um, posts there and I'm starting a lettering series on how to's and just different drills. And there's gonna be some free downloads on there for you as well as some of my favorite supplies to use as you're starting out um, learning how to hand letter. So I added um, thicker downstrokes to all of the uh, lettering I did with this to be the fine tip marker and then I'm just going to go through and do my shadow effect just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'll put a link to um, the shadow technique video for you guys if you want to check it out.
Thank you so much for watching and if you like, subscribe and thumbs up and like I said, check out my blog for more uh, tutorials and also my other videos. Thanks!